Jesus, welcome to Seizure City. Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's Models here. And a uh, couple of things today. Uh, uh, a couple of minor purchases. I got some of that 2080 painter's tape at Ace Hardware, which uh, everybody's been raving about how good it works. So I'm going to give that a shot. I had to buy a new mouse and a computer. One of my buttons died. And you know you're a modeler if you buy something like that. And you're more excited about the clear, curved, funny-shaped plastic and all the cool things you can do with it in kit bashing or with your models than you are about the actual thing that came inside the package. So my wife and I went to the Avenues Mall, which I haven't been to in a while, and uh, I made this little impromptu uh, video while I was there. So uh, let's go uh, into the Wayback Machine to earlier today and let uh, slightly younger Max have his say. Hey guys, Max and Max's Models here at the Avenues Mall in Jacksonville, Florida. And I was just thinking my wife and I are doing some stuff and I remember when there actually used to be hobby shops in the mall. I mean, real places that had kit models and all the paints and everything. I haven't seen one in a mall in years. Um, I guess it's just no longer a viable uh, uh, modus operandi anymore, but it's kind of sad uh, because I hate to say it, but there's really not much in the mall for me. I mean, you know, you get a good coffee. There's actually some decent food here and uh, <laughs> Cinnabon, because uh, I need one of those fat pills. But, uh, you know, it's clothing stores and, you know, just, you know, you guys know what's in the mall. There, But there really isn't here. I mean, I used to love coming to the mall as a kid, the toy stores and everything. and. It's kind of sad because I still like the atmosphere of the mall, you know, it's a happy place. Um, but it's just not, uh, without a hobby shop, uh, that's probably why I haven't been, I don't think I've been to, this mall is 10 minutes from my house, I don't think I've been here and with my wife in two years, a year at least. So, uh, malls and hobby shops, a little piece of Americana that may be gone forever. If you know about a, a real high hobby shop in a mall, put it in the comment section below, I'd like to hear. Uh, also, I got a video, I got a seven day warning on a video that I made two and a half years ago. Uh, apparently I used some, a, a drawing, and the artist who did the drawing, it's copyrighted, he saw it and put a claim in against me at uh, YouTube. So um, I have uh, pulled that, I downloaded that video back on the computer because I don't have the original. I have re-edited it without his drawing and I'll put it back up soon, and, I mean, it's two and a half year old video, so anyway. So, uh, it was on the Weedle Williams airplanes, um, that XP-43, I think it was, that they, uh, they built out of a racing plane. Anyway, uh, well, that's what I've got for right now. Guys, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, also, I just got a package from uh, Mr. Britton, and uh, I'll show you the uh, goodies that came in it later. He said we didn't need to do an unboxing, but I'll show you what he sent me. Guys, take care of yourself, uh, and as always model I and mean, I got a feeling there's going to be more to this video that seems to be the way these things work so for now model on unless later in the day me is going to follow this and it was probably introduced by later in the day me because at Max's models we can play with time <laughs> Mr. Britton up in Maine uh, Glue Trooper sent me some stuff this uh, KP 172nd scale Curtis SC1 and a uh, cruiser catapult to mount it on this is 3d resin printed and it looks awesome it there's two major parts uh, i haven't found any instructions on it yet so i guess you just cut away the parts you don't use i'll, I'll use photo references uh, this should be really slick when it's done and he also sent me a copy of or the aurora models book by uh, dr F uh, tom graham and uh, also a godzilla lunchbox complete with thermos which has the biological interiors of our favorite kaiju and that is looking awesome down on the Godzilla shelf here in the office. Well, folks, that's uh, pretty much uh, my video for this evening. And uh, I do want to reiterate that I did make contact with the artist. And he, he was cool about everything. I just uh, had already redone the video. I'll probably use it for tomorrow's morning video, repost it or something. And uh, that's what we have for today. So you take care of yourselves. And as always, model on.
she told me to wait for her here by the food court by Le Crepes. Oh, that's going to end well.